East. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The current Health Accord says, and I quote, funding commitments require that jurisdictions comply with reporting provisions, end quote. But the Conservatives have failed to live up to this commitment. The Minister says that the next accord will be about accountability, but without reporting, she can't tell us what the current accords have achieved. So, Mr. Speaker, this government is sleepwalking into the next accord, blind to what happened under the last one. Where's the accountability now? Here, here. The Honourable Minister of Health. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I had very productive meetings with health ministers uh, this past Friday. We discussed many important issues, um, as o such as obesity, suicide prevention, mental health, and MS. Mr. Speaker, the Quebec health minister, Minister Bolduc, said he felt that there was excellent collaboration amongst the provinces and the gov uh, federal government, and he felt we were listening to them. That's great news, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, and reflects the success of our discussions and advances that we have made together to better, health, uh, to better the health care system for all Canadians. And our government will not be like the previous Liberal government who slashed health and education transfers to the provinces. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Mr. Speaker, the Minister failed to address the key issue, and that is that the federal government has invested almost $160 billion on health care under the current accord. But because of this government's mismanagement, Canadians don't know what value they're getting. Mr. Government, Mr. Speaker, the government has failed to ensure proper reporting on the impact of that spending. Much of what they promised, a pharmaceutical strategy, public health strategy, long-term care, are nowhere in sight. When will they finally demonstrate some leadership on this accord? Why wait until 2014 to be accountable? The Honourable Minister of Health. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, what's not stated in that statement is that the 2004 Accord also required a committee to review the accomplishments of the 2004 Accord. That work is currently being carried out in the Senate, and I'm looking forward to receiving the findings of that review uh, from the Senate committee, who will be completing that report in the next month or so. And, Mr. Speaker, one of our goals is also to make sure that there is accountability in the way the money is being spent, and I will continue to work with the provinces and the territories in the delivery of health care to their residents. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.